to my channel if you are new here my name is Britton and today we are decorating for Christmas this Christmas decorate with me is a little unique because we will be decorating for Christmas in our camper we currently live full-time in a camper with a little six month old so it can be challenging at times but I wanted to show you guys that you can decorate for Christmas in a small space you just have to get creative and that's what we are doing today so without further ado let's get to this. I really want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video today. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I do have a crock pot recipe for you guys and the recipe is so delicious but I wanted to start this off showing you my Bath and Body Works haul and what I got from there today. So I ended up getting two candles, one hot maple toddy and one sugared snickerdoodle and they were so amazing. Then I also got a couple wall plugs as well as some wall scents and all of my Christmas decor is from Hobby Lobby, Dollar General, and Dollar Tree. And whenever I'm finished decorating and I film my Christmas home tour later on, I will show you guys where everything is from. But without further ado, let's get decorating. So you guys know I can't do anything without my coffee. So right now I'm just making an iced coffee and I got this adorable cup at the Dollar Tree for $1. I of course am cleaning up Belle's toys right here before we get started and then I will be pulling out our Christmas tree. I wanted to go with one smaller this year because I didn't want it to overpower the TV and this is our first year in a camper so I didn't want it to be cluttered or crowded. And with that being said I ended up going with this four and a half foot Christmas tree from Amazon. If you guys are interested I can link it in the description box just let me know. It was it was okay when I first opened it it was a little lopsided so I was trying to fix that and a lot of the flock snow came off so I spent quite a few times like trying to put it back on but I ended up just having to vacuum it all off um, which is fine because I think this was a relatively cheap tree so as you can see I am vacuuming tons of the flock that came off which I know is normal for a tree because I've had one in the past but this one was just so much fell off so so much fell off so now I'm getting into everything that we had last year and I'm only grabbing a few things so I'll be grabbing the Christmas ornaments the stockings and the garland that I got at Target last year um, the Christmas ornaments are pretty plain I just got red and white sparkly bulbs and I'll be putting those on our little tree as well as some of the new ornaments that I got this year at Hobby Lobby Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down so let me know in the comments down below, do you let your children decorate their Christmas tree or do you just decorate all the Christmas trees or do you let them decorate and you change the, everything around when they go to sleep? I know like in the past, I always helped my mom decorate the tree and it was my absolute favorite thing. So I just can't imagine not letting Belle help decorate the main Christmas tree. I know that some people let their children have um, Christmas trees in their rooms, but I just would feel so bad if I didn't let her decorate the main Christmas tree in the living room. And so here is an up close of all the ornaments that I chose. Um, it's pretty minimalistic and I just love it that way. I thought they were so simple and beautiful. And now I'm moving on to the mantle. This thing took me forever to stick up there. So I just wanted to save you guys the trouble of <laughs> watching it. And I pinned it up there myself. I'm using command strip hooks to hold it up there on the mantle. And that's also what I will use to hold my stockings on the mantle as well. While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. Feeling jolly, eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door 
over to our couch. I'm just putting away the old pillows, fixing the blanket, and then I will add a couple throw pillows. These throw pillows I've had for a couple of years, so I'm not sure where I got them, but if I remember, I will link them in the description box. I kept it relatively simple over here just because I like the white, and I added two colors, pops of red. And after that, I will go on to decorate the little side tables. They're built in side tables in our camper. And I didn't want to clutter these, so I just placed two simple flock trees that I got at Hobby Lobby, along with this adorable uh, Believe sign. And then I will go ahead and decorate the other side as well, simply just putting some Christmas greenery in the little um, picture that I have over there. to decorating under our mantle I love to put pieces right here so I just keep going back and forth with what I want to put there and in the end I ended up putting just a couple things from the Dollar Tree and then those adorable bottle brush trees that I got at Hobby Lobby I stuck behind the blue sign because I just felt like it needed um, a little bit something back there but I couldn't quite pick what it needed and then those bottle brush trees just look so perfect so I ended up leaving them right there Moving over to my two-tier tray, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I pretty much decorated this from everything Dollar General and Dollar Tree wise, and I thought it just turned out so adorable. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. This was my first time doing a two-tier tray. So I just placed some greenery on the bottom, and then I placed this white house from Hobby Lobby, and I thought it needed some like color. So I added a tree around it, um, this little Minnie Mouse globe that I got at Hobby Lobby just for Belle because she's been obsessed with Minnie and Mickey lately. Um, I love this Happy Birthday Jesus sign, so I ended up placing that on the bottom just to bring the red in. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the Merry Christmas to all sign back there just because it looks a little awkward, but it also um, disguises the outlets back there. So let me know what you guys think, like if it's working there, if it's not working there. Um, and then like I said, I'm just placing these like little ornaments from the Dollar Tree on there as well. Some bottle brush trees, little signs, and everything just to get it filled up and looking full. It's the time of year, winter wonderland <laughs> My winter wonderland It's the time of year, my winter wonderland My winter wonderland I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang I'm also placing this Bath and Body Works candle in the middle of this greenery that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm absolutely obsessed with that greenery and this candle smells so amazing. So since we don't have a table, I went ahead and placed this little centerpiece in the middle of our countertop. And I definitely have to keep the countertops clear because it's such a small space. So nothing can really go on there except for this, which is completely fine. And I just thought it looked so cute. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. 
And here I am just adding the hot maple toddy wallflowers into the wallflower that I got. And guys, this smells so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. And then I'm going to go over to our couch and just put the throw pillow, the throw blankets over. I love this big red fluffy one. I got it at Gabe's. And then I just also kept the white one that I usually have on there. And I love putting those two together. I thought they would look so Christmassy. This is the final product, how I decorated our camper for Christmas. And I also have this amazing crock pot recipe. So make sure you guys are still watching this video. In a crock pot, you are going to spray all over it. We're gonna be making monkey bread. So go ahead and spray your crock pot with some non-stick cooking spray. And then in a bowl, you're going to melt one stick of butter in one cup of brown sugar. And then you are going to take dinner rolls. I know dinner rolls, it sounds so strange. Roll them in sugar and cinnamon. And you are going to layer all of the dough into the crock pot. And guys, this is so amazing. Let me just tell you. so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire cause all i want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas A moment will fill with love and joy Mm-mm, it's a beautiful Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for the next one. And I cannot wait to chat with you in the comments. Make sure you leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.